Hi, I'm Tanu, and today I want to talk about ICG innovative uses. We've already published a paper where we have discussed the use of ICG in stage 4 endometriosis for bowel dissection. But over here, I want to show you how we can use ICG to actually uh, determine the space between the bladder and the anterior cervical vaginal fascia. So we have used around 2 mils of ICG and diluted it with uh, 3 mils of um, saline, so up to 5 mils of overall solution and smeared it uh, with a syringe onto the anterior fornix. You can use your gloved finger as well just to distribute that a bit further. So as you can see, you can see a bit of tinge or a hue of the ICG already. But here we want to showcase how ICG can be used both for the anterior compartment along with the posterior compartment as well. Uh, with the posterior compartment, it's very useful in stage 4 endometriosis, especially where you want to determine the plane between the vagina and the rectum. And it is a free access article that I've showcased earlier. Please feel free to go and check on the link where the video is available as well. But over here, we're go going to mainly concentrate on the bladder. So the first step is zipping open the UV fold. And all we are doing is starting from the left side to the right side, all the way towards the round ligament. Once that's done, we have to lift the bladder up and um, find the transverse, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the vertical fibers that are there and cut through it. But at times when you feel that uh, you're not quite sure, especially in a scarred or an obliterated anterior uh, cul-de-sac, you can then use ICG which will help you. So right over here you can see from the beginning that there is a hue of green. We've used striker over here and uh, infrared um, kind of uh, light which picks up um, this ICG in uh, certain uh, wavelengths uh, which is perceived as green. This green color can be changed. You can either make it blue or whatever color you want. We've just chosen green because green is a good contrast against uh, blood. So when you have um, some adhesions, this is going to be a bit more useful. Over here, we're just demonstrating. This is only for demonstration purposes. And this is a lady who has um, an unscarred bladder. But as you can see, um, this ICG at times, if you're in doubt, you've started the case and you find that it's a bit difficult to proceed, feel free to smear a bit of ICG in the anterior vaginal wall, which will probably help you delineate the plane a bit better. I hope you like this innovative use. Let me know if you'd like to see more of such videos. Take care.